اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to plot, print and export results in R. But before that we are going to just quickly review what we did in the last session that is bootstrapping the model. So the first thing that we did was in order to bootstrap you have to call the bootstrap underscore model function and specify your model. In this case our model was the estimated simple model. The estimate underscore PLS function was used to estimate this particular model. Now once estimated, we are going to bootstrap this particular model. And how to do it? Just simply call the bootstrap underscore model function, use this particular argument and assign this model to sem in R underscore model. This is the bootstrap samples, the cores and the C. And these are the default value normally the bootstrapping samples should be 10,000. Once you have bootstrapped next thing we need the results. In order to get the results we are going to call the summary function and retrieve the results from this particular object and then assign these results into this particular summary object. Now then you can call the whole report just simply type in summary underscore boot and it will give you the whole report or you can find specific results as well. Just use summary underscore boot object, the dollar sign, and then the specific output that you require. In this case, let's say I'm on the bootstrap path, so you can have this bootstrap underscore paths right next to the dollar sign, and similarly, you can have bootstrap loadings as well. Now, there is another way to do it. You just copy it here, let's move here. So let's say I am interested in summary underscore boot. Now I'm not sure what do what how to write or maybe I'm not sure shall it should be bootstrap underscore paths or bootstrap paths. It's much easier to set the dollar sign and it will give you all the options available. Let's say I want bootstrap HTMT, just select it, run it and you will have the bootstrap HTMT results. Now moving on towards the topic for this session, printing, plotting and exporting results. Now when the model is estimated, evaluated and the analysis has been completed, it is often necessary to export the results generated in R to a report. It is recommended that you use the .csv file and export the result into a file. Now how do we export the results? We are going to use the write.csv function to write our output in a CSV file. Now this function actually takes two arguments where x is the object to be written to the file and file is where you want the object written to. Now in this case write.csv where x is summary underscore boot and this is what I want to write in this file. Now how do you do this? Let's copy this and let's say put it here. Now write.csv is the function and the functions open with parenthesis x is the object and this object will hold this output and this output is in this summary object. Now you can have different outputs as well. Let me move it. So you can write let's say summary underscore boot and what do you want? Add the dollar sign and you can have different outputs as well. Let's say I do not want the bootstrapped output. I want the output from simple underscore model. Obviously this summary underscore simple holds the output from or the estimation from simple underscore model. So what you do is summary underscore simple was the name. Obviously, sometimes you have to retype it just to get that output. Yeah, like this summary underscore simple. And it gives you this option. Click on it, then add the dollar sign. And then let's say I want the total effects. Now let's run the file. Run. And let's see where it is. It is in the same folder where your R script file is. Double click. And here are your total effects. Now moving on, next step, 
Now that we have written the output to our CSV file, the next step is obviously this must be a sigh of relief that we can get the models as we used to get in Smart PLS. Now this is your simple model that you estimated using estimate.pls and this is your bootstrapped model. Now more or less they are similar but here you've got significance values as well. Now look at these statics, significant and look at this bias corrected confidence interval. Now how do you get this? Let's see. Next we discuss how to generate high quality figures from SEM in R results. Now first we generate a simple plot for export from R studio. To do this, we use a sub object of summary underscore simple and the plot construct internal consistency reliabilities. That is, you can have a plot to summarize or to have your internal consistency reliabilities. And how to do this? This is how you do it. Let's do this. And this will be the plot that we will get. Let's look at this in R. Now what we need to do is, in order to get this plot, just copy this code here, copy, and let's put it here. Now, just, we do not need this, just select this, and run, and here is your plot. Just move it here, and here is your plot. You can obviously export it as image, as PDF, or you can copy it to clipboard. Just click here, copy plot, and paste it any, anywhere you want. Now moving on. So how do we generate these plots? It's very simple. Just simply copy this text here, copy, and let's paste it, paste it here, and let's see what we get. Let's run, and it's running, and here is your plot. Now this is your PLS algorithm. Similarly, something that you got with PLS algorithm, you are getting the same thing here. This is your measurement model with beta coefficients, the loadings. What if I want my plot after estimation or after bootstrapping? So what you need to do is just simply copy this text here. Now this is copy and this plot your boot underscore simple. Let's run it. And here is your plot from boot underscore simple that is your bootstrapped results. Now where were your bootstrapped results? They were stored in this object. Now where were your PLS estimation results? They were stored here. So now this is how you can get different plots as you used to get in smart PLS as well. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to export results and how to plot your simple model or bootstrap model or your PLS estimation results and your bootstrap results. Thank you very much.